Hi everybody, I'm Joey and I'm here to help you relax today and de-stress with some crafting. I've got some really cute cards to show you and they don't require any die cutting. They're all just with stamps and punches. And we're gonna use a set called Circle Sayings. It's the one I've been uh, featuring this week all week long. And so today we're gonna make some cards with it. So before we get started, um, as you join, I would love for you to say hello and you can let me know where you're from or anything else about yourself you'd like to share today. If you're having a good day and not so good day, um, what I'm doing right now is pulling myself up on my iPad so that I can see what you're seeing. And then I'm going to also get myself pulled up on my um, page on my laptop because that's where I actually see your, see your comments. So let me... Get that going. It takes Facebook a few minutes to get everything going. All right, looks like I'm live. I think I'm in the right place. So just make sure you say hi when you come on. And I would love for you, um, love to get to know you a little bit. Yeah, even if you're watching replay, I, I always come back and look at my comments and respond. So make sure you, um, make sure you go ahead and comment. If you're watching on Facebook, I invite you to follow my page. I'm almost, or like my page, I'm almost at a thousand followers, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, hi, Julie. Okay, so people are starting to find me. It always takes a few minutes for uh, Facebook to actually let people know that I'm live. Um, and then if you're watching on YouTube, I'll have all the information, all my links and everything be in the video description. And if you're, if you enjoy the video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. My YouTube channel is growing as well. And then you won't miss any uh, future videos, especially if you click the notification bell. Okay, with that said, I think we are ready to get going. I'm going to click a couple things here. Um, I have to get this toolbar up here and then I will be going upside down and then I'll turn the phone down. I'm not super sophisticated about this. We just flip the little switch on the camera and then go down. I think that's about right. And that's not too bad today. That worked out pretty well. Sometimes it takes longer for me to get it adjusted. <laughs> What's the weather today in Minnesota, Julie? We're having a pretty nice day. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. Um, and it rained this morning, so rain is always, always a good thing. Okay, friends, what you're watching today is my Circle Sayings class to go. And I'll make three cards. And if you, um, you know, I would love for you to just watch and enjoy seeing what I'm making. If you would actually like to get all the uh, supplies for the cards I'm making, you would get two of each of the cards I'm making today. If you put in a $35 order using this host code, um, or let me even put the link in the, the, script, the ordering link in the comments. So if you're looking for, you just want to one click shopping, I'll, I've embedded the shop, the host code in a link that I'm right now putting on my on my um, comments. Sorry, I was looking at your comments. Julie, it's hot and hazy 80 today. That's that's nice temperature actually, and still have bad air from Canada fires. I'm so sorry. That that would be difficult. And hi, Kathy. Kathy Sanford's on. Excellent. Alrighty, everybody. So when you, if you put in a $35 order using this house code, you get uh, six supplies for six cars. You also get a PDF tutorial. I don't have this one. I just started it today, so I don't have it finished, but it has detailed descriptions and photos and close-up photos and all of that. Then the other thing I'd like to invite you to is to join my email, my newsletter list. Every week I send a free tutorial um, to my newsletter subscribers. This is this week's using the same uh, products that we're using today basically. And then this is the tutorial that I'll be sending out. So if you haven't subscribed to my 
YouTube channel. I'm sorry, what do I want to say there? If you have, gosh, okay, let me try that again. If you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, I'm going to put that link in the comments now as well. It's a copy and then, okay. There's the uh, link to my, uh, get my free tutorials and my newsletter. So I just put that in the comments. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll have all those links in the video description. So it's much easier actually watching on YouTube uh, to find me. So Julie, you like how I embed the host code makes it so much easier. You know, Julie, I just found out how to do that maybe six months ago, six, eight months ago. And I know my customers really appreciate it because there's just something about the website. Sometimes I'm going to move my phone a little bit. That so it's the wrong way, of course. I always have to go the wrong way first. It is not particularly easy to find where to put in the host code. Um, if some of you are just wanting to use this host code and you're not wanting to look for the link, um, it's on the it's on the page where your cart is. It's not on the checkout, so you have to put it in on the page of your cart where you're listing the things that you are wanting to order. That's where you'll find a place to put in the host code. Okay, all right, let's get stamping, friends. Let's make, um, we're gonna do a couple of um, fun folds today. They are easy. Both of them are super easy. As my friend Julie Salva said, this particular one I'm going to show you right now is the world's easiest fun fold. I don't know if that's true, but we're going to go with that. All right, for this, you need a piece of designer series paper that measures five and three fourths by five and a fourth. And then you're going to score it at one and three fourths. Okay, so again, that's five and a fourth this way and five and three fourths this way. And then on the long side, you're going to score it at one and three fourths. Now, here's the thing about this. You have to be sure that you like both sides of the paper when you make this card, because both sides are gonna be seen. Or you want them to coordinate with whatever you're gonna put on the front of your card. Um, then we're gonna put it on a piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And it's just, I know usually this is the part we open, but this is just going to be a base because we're going to put other panels on this to open. So let's go ahead and do this one. Hi, Kay. Oh, it's so nice to see you. I've been thinking about you. Uh, if you guys don't know Kay, she, um, she likes to show pictures of her kitties on Facebook and she gets such good pictures. They always are very photographically pretty, her photos of her, her, her kitties. Okay, so we're just going to put this on this card base like this. Okay, then now I have another piece of Missy Moonlight, and this one is five and a half by four. Five and a half by four, and then I have scored this one at two and three fourths. Okay. Now again, if you put in an order, all the I'll send you this PDF so you have all those uh, measurements written down, and you don't have to look at the video again. Although you're certainly welcome, the video stays up, so you're welcome to watch that anytime. Then we have uh, two pieces: one designer series paper that's going to coordinate with what we're doing on the front. And then a piece of, I'm using very vanilla, but it would be a neutral cardstock. And these are two and a half by three and three fourths. Two and a half by three and three fourths. And this one, we're gonna go ahead and put on the front of, whoops. Okay, now here's the way this is gonna open. So it's gonna open like this. So be sure, which I almost put it on the wrong place, that your card Yes, this one's going to open this way, not the normal way of opening a card. Make sense? Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on. I'm using, today I'm using that delightfully eclectic designer series paper. Um, it's, it's the pack that has 48 pieces in it, and you also, um, 
it has 48 pieces or 12 by 12 and it was normally $30 but through the 30th of the month it is just a little over 25 so you get a 15% discount on it if you purchase it before June 30th. Okay, so there's this part of our card and this is gonna go like this. Okay, see how easy that is? This possibly is the world's easiest fun fold. I haven't told Julia yet, I'm making it on my Facebook Live today. She made it on hers last week. I, I changed it up a bit. This is not the hers accent card, but this idea of it. And I want, for the purposes of what I'm showing today, I want this little pink stripe to show because we're gonna use pink ribbon. And if you've watched me all, you know my favorite color is pink. Okay, then I've already done the punching on this. We're just using circle punches today. So we have got, this is a two and a quarter inch, the vanilla, and this is a two and three eighths inch punch. And now I think all our punches are in. They are so, so popular. They've had a hard time keeping, keeping them in stock. So, but the last I looked, which was a few days ago, so it might have changed since then, these were all in stock, which is a good thing, of course. Punches are so popular. Okay, let's, we're taking Misty Moonlight ink, and we are going to ink this up. And instead of living dangerously, I think I'll get out my Stamp and Pierce mat. This is an inexpensive tool that helps your photopolymer stamps stamp really well because it, it gives you a little bit extra cushion. Whereas our, there's ink there, our clink stamps, which are made of red rubber, um, they have an extra cushion in them, so you don't really need any extra. But for our photopolymer stamps, it's sometimes good to use this mat especially when um you have a lot of flat space like this stamp this image it has a lot of flat space hi barb welcome oh i know i love this dsp i love the whole pack last week i used it and i used a completely different i'm trying to look at my sample here i used a completely different combination of colors but I don't think there's any patterns in this paper pack that I don't like. Let me just, I do have my six by six um, samples out here of this paper. So let me get it out so you can see it. Um, I'll just show both sides of it. I love this with the pink and the yellow lemons. That's the one of my favorite. And then it has the... Um, Pretty Peacock is the green here. And plus they pair it with Garden Green. And then I love that Daisy one. Oh, we're using that today. Here's little strawberries. And then this cute little pattern. I used that last week. And there are some black and white. This is actually black and, is this white? Yeah, I was trying, I thought maybe it was a vanilla, but it's not. And then we're gonna use this pattern today. And I love this one too. Had a hard time deciding on which patterns to use today. And this one, these I used last week, both of those. And there's a cute little pretzel pattern and the stripes. Uh, this was what I used in my card that's going to my newsletter subscribers, this one. Um, well, the PDF tutorial is going, not the card itself. But And then another black and white, and I absolutely love this one with the fresh Frisian and the black and white daisies. Um, this one and the back is um we were using this one today using this side and then there's a couple of these that have like the notebook pattern on them which is really fun for well it's very eclectic so it kind of fits in with this and then this pattern uh the punches in the inked and tiled i had to think ink and tiled punch pack they punch out these shapes so that's kind of fun too and then I really like this pattern, but I haven't used it yet. And then this one we're using today. This is one of my favorites. And then we're using this one today. We're using that. So those are the patterns. And as I said, you get 48 sheets um, of 12 by 12, which means you get four of each pattern. So that is a lot of paper, kids. For $25, or yeah, 25 just a little over $25, 
now this week until the 30th and where has june gone my friends am i the only one we're feeling like every other day i'm turning over the calendar <laughs> it's just crazy 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 okay so this is this is how our card's gonna open isn't that cute i think it's cute all right then and how easy is that it's super easy i i love things that are easy but um kind of a wow that was my favorite kind of card i'm just gonna cut up my dimensionals here quick because i'm at the end of them and i want to use them all up so and you know the other thing i enjoy about stamping up paper is that well obviously because it coordinates with all of our ink our ink pads and our markers and everything like that but they put together color combinations that I would never think of putting together. So that's another thing it gives you. It kind of refreshes your whole color palette if you get in a rut. So we're going to, anyway, so we're moving on with our, these are, as I said, this is very vanilla because some of these backgrounds are vanilla. Okay, then we're going to pick this might seem unusual this actually goes with uh in the catalog they show up with a zoo um a zoo set that coordinates but i'm using it today so it's called the ribbon duo combo pack and i'm using this ribbon today because it might be my favorite ribbon it's petal pink and it has little white it alternates with white stripes Barb, it's called Delightfully Eclectic. Delightfully Eclectic. And it is in the annual catalog. It isn't just online. Because, you know, we have some online things that don't show up in the catalogs, but they're still available. So, they're on, in the online store under... Um, online exclusive so if you're wondering you don't want to miss anything because it's not in a written catalog or the paper catalog um, just make sure you go to my website stampingwithjoey.stampinup.net for me for my website um, and you can just go to shop now and then uh, type in online exclusives or I think under the title um, products if you click on that I think that's where it also gives you the choice to pick online exclusives too okay we're just gonna put a pink bow on this I know it doesn't seem like it maybe it fits really well but that's what I'm tying in from this pink ribbon it's petal pink I'm not it doesn't show up too pink in the camera but in real life it's pink then we're gonna take our tinsel gems four pack this is, well, let's see here. This is not the Tinsel Gems 4-pack. This is, I got mixed up. This is the 3-pack. And we're not using the 3-pack. We're using the 4-pack. So hang on. This is how I store my uh, my embellishments. I'm going to be really, really close to the camera. But I have a Longa Burger basket. You could use any basket, but this one works really well for this. And then I have them in our stamp cases. Is that the right one there? No, that's the three pack. So I think I got my packs mixed up. We might have to use the three pack, but I don't have them labeled on the front because I can just see through what they are. Well, I don't know where, I don't know where my four pack is. Let me look in one more place. Um, No, I don't see them, but I have a whole package of them somewhere, but not here. So that's okay. We're going to use what I have left. I have some, you know, new ones. I was going to show you a new one so you would know what you get with a $50 order, but I don't have them to show, but they're in the catalog. Um, let me show you the delightfully eclectic paper. So it is, or where it is. So it is at the bottom of page 129. And the number for it is 161640. And then the, the four pack tinsel gems, whoops, going the wrong way for gem, are back here. 
so it's going to be very hard to see but the four pack tinsel gems are down here actually number four and the colors are pretty peacock blueberry bushel I'm trying to move this you can see it this is them so the colors are pretty peacock blueberry bushel berry burst and lemon lime twist so those are the colors but i have found that it's pretty easy to mix and match these with other colors too so even though i'm not using maybe i am using misty moonlight oh what blue is it oh i'm sorry i don't remember i'm being a ditz thinking about too many things at one time. I'm gonna use this blue on this card, whatever blue this is. And I'm gonna use a big one. And they do sparkle, they, you know, they're called tinsel gems because they have tiny bits of, let's see if I can get closer, tiny bits of sparkle in them. It's hard to really pick it up on the camera, but they're really pretty. They're one of my favorite new embellishments. Let's put, Let's put one here. So, isn't that cute? A warm hello. I should have stamped something on my inside. Let's, let's do because you're awesome. We're gonna use this on another card too, but we need something on the inside for Pete's sakes. We're not Hallmark. We can put things on the inside of our cards. So, a warm hello because you're awesome. I'm gonna go kind of to the top. There, there you go. So now we've got a greeting on the inside and the outside. So there's our cute little easy fun fold. Isn't that, that's super easy, you guys. Anybody can make this, whether you're just a beginner or an avid stamper. And it's cute because it shows both sides of the paper and it's kind of novel because it opens the opposite way. So there's our first one. Here's my sample. And I just like the color combination. I just, the, the, Petal pink's kind of unexpected with the crushed curry and the misty moonlight, so I kind of like that. Oh, thank you. Hi, Libby. Um, you know, Barb, it's the you know the catalog just has such. Barb said that she um, probably would not have noticed that paper, um, and probably wouldn't have been all that interested in it because. You can't really see it, and that's true. You know, I know they do the best they can with photography, but, you know, it's just really hard to see how pretty things are if you don't get to see them in person. All right, now we're going to switch gears. We're going to stick with Petal Pink, and now we're going to use those really pretty daisies. And remember, if your order is $35 or more, you get two of every card I'm making today, so you get a total of six cards. I did that last week, and that was pretty popular, so I thought, well, I'll try that again this week and see how it goes. And, of course, you get the envelopes, too. So in order to save time, I'm not punching out everything today, so I hope... If you're a beginning stamper, you're not going, well, I don't know how to make that because you're not making it from scratch. I do have other videos that um, that show everything from scratch, but these are just punched out of punches like these. So this, this is punched out of white and crushed curry cardstock with the double oval punch. This is called the double oval punch. And this is a two inch circle, just a plain circle that I punched out of this one, I know there's a lot of glare on the camera, but this is just a two inch circle. So I have just done that ahead of time. This piece of paper is four by five and a quarter. And it's out of that same paper stack. So the way we're gonna do this is we're going to, um, just adhere this and then we'll punch out of the front, we'll punch our, Hole. that part I am going to do so you can see it so if you want to make this this is not really a fun fold but it is kind of in a way I'm calling it it kind of is this is also four by five and a quarter and it's just our white piece we're putting in the middle so that we have something easier to write on you could write on the petal pink I've written on colored cardstock many times but um the white is a smoother cardstock, so it's a little bit easier to write on with your pen. All right, now I'm going to our biggest circle punch, which is two and three eighths. I'm just going to open the front of my card, and I'm going to put this all the way in. I'm kind of 
eyeing it. I'm trying to eye the pattern paper to be equal on both sides. I'm going all the way in because there's a guide here. Whoops, but there's a guide there. So I'm going all the way to the guide, centering my card, and then just punch like that. Okay, so there's that part. That's how you do that part. Now, I'm going to grab a circle of which I have to get out of my other packet, so I'm not sure what happened to mine. This is out of the same paper pack, as I said, delightfully eclectic. All the cards I'm making today are out of that same paper pack. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put adhesive on the back. So these two circles are the same. This is a two and three eighths, and then this is a two and three eighths that I punched out of the designer paper. And I'm just gonna really, I'm butt the, gonna butt this up around really close to all the edges there and push down. And then as you can see, this is gonna open like this. It's already pretty cute, I think. Then let's grab our stamp set. And we're going to stamp a cupcake. All right. Let's just, I'm going to punt. I kind of went back and forth yesterday about should I punt, stamp this in crushed curry and then color with petal pink or should I stamp in petal pink and color with crushed curry. So... I landed on stamping with crushed curry. We'll see what you think when we get a little farther here. I'm also, I thought it was a little bare with the cupcake by itself, so I put thinking of you at the top, and that I did use. How big is a circle in the circle saying it's bundle? Two and three eighths, Kathy. Yeah, so the bundle is this. It's, whoops, that's not it. It's the two and three, the bundle comes with a two and three eighths circle punch and the circle stains. Okay. Um, let me just get that for you really quick too. Because sometimes it helps to actually just see it in the catalog. So if I could find my catalog, we just lost. So these two are the bundle. And this is not a size we've had before, the two and three eighths circle. Um, let me look this up quick i thought it, i might have had it marked did i have it marked i think this was for last week i've been gone since i saw you last i um i went four days to utah 17 a friend of mine her name is rhonda wade she's very successful at stamping up and she's been a mentor of mine for many years so Anyway, she had an event, and I went to that in Utah, so I feel a little, little behind yet. But page 17 in the annual catalog, and it shows the bundle here. So if you want to order the bundle, make sure you pick up this number. Don't pick up this one. That's just the stamp set. So don't do that one if you want the punch with it. It's 161355. It's the bundle number, and it's $41.25. This is a really versatile stamp set. If you are a beginner watching, this is a great thing to start with. I know I started with, with just stamps, but then I did buy all the circle punches. At that time, we had a lot of sizes of circle punches, and now we're starting to add them back. We haven't had them for a year or two. Okay, so thinking of you, it's going to be in petal pink at the top of our little cupcake there. And again, I don't know, I'm looking at the screen. These colors, crushed curry and, well, we've got this out. Let's go ahead and stamp our greeting. Well, I don't have it out anymore, so I need the yellow ink pad. Here we go. Um, and we'll stamp our birthday greeting, because this is going to be a birthday card, and we've got a birthday cupcake here. Let me grab the birthday greeting. Happy birthday. I do like the fonts in this too. So they mix the printing with the script, which I always really think that's pretty and it's interesting. And this set has that. So we've got happy birthday stamped in crushed curry. Our cupcake, our cupcake is punched in or stamped in crushed curry. And our thinking of you is stamped in petal pink. Okay, now I've got to look at my sample here. 
how I did this. Okay, yes, for this, I usually don't, um, what am I trying to say, put dimensionals, but I had something else in mind. I usually don't put dimensionals when I'm gonna actually put the whole thing up on a dimensional, but I did for this one because of the way the card's gonna come together here. I thought it looked a little more like that's the way the whole card should come together. I'll show you what I mean once I get a little bit further. So I've got this down. All right, now we're gonna color a little bit. So I've got my Stampin' Blends markers here and I'm going to color. I thought we needed pink icing on our pink cupcake. So I'm going to, this is the light petal pink. And if you know Stampin' Up! colors, if you're familiar with them, petal pink is not really pink. It really should have been petal peach. It's a really pretty color, but when you think this is gonna be pink, to my eyes, it's not really pink. Okay, so there's that. I don't know if I'm gonna put any dark on this or not, maybe just a little. It comes across as a little bit, actually a little bit orange, the darker one, but I'm just, then it lightens up when, when it dries, as it dries, it kind of lightens up a little bit. I'm going back with my light one. I'm kind of just blending out those. That's why they're called blends markers because they blend the colors together and look really, really pretty. No streaking with blends markers. Now I'm going to take my daffodil delight. Now I know this is crushed curry, but we don't have a crushed curry marker. But so if I use my daffodil delight, it still blends. That looks nice. I've been using it with crushed curry for quite a while. My head might be in the might be in the picture. Hopefully not. Okay, now this I'm not going to spend a lot of time coloring just because you can all color and you don't really need to watch me do a lot of really detailed coloring. So we're done with that and then we're just going to pop this up. Remember this is the two inch circle. So this one is the two inch circle and this one is the two and three eighths and then you get this variation in your card. Let me get this put down here and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, I just see, oh yeah, okay. I thought I did something wrong, but I didn't. I'm gonna put a bow on it and I thought I had already taped down where I was gonna put a bow, but I haven't, so I'm good. Okay, so we're taking off our dimensionals. Oh, thank you, Libby. I'm happy you like the colors. I do too. You know, I, I know I've said this many times on my videos. I tend to be a person that starts a card not with a template or, you know, a layout, but with color, a color combination. Now I'm going to take this same ribbon and I'm going to tie a little bow here around the side of the card. I just thought it needed a little something. So I'm gonna, and I like ribbon and gems. If you've watched me very much, I pretty much always use ribbon and gems. Not a hundred percent. I can be flexible people. I don't have to use ribbon and gems, but you know, they're good. And we, use, we usually have something that coordinates with everything, whether it's a gem or a ribbon or both, or you know, you just make it coordinate. <laughs> just take your blends markers and make your ribbon coordinate because you can color your ribbon with your blends markers. Isn't Doesn't this tie so pretty too? I think this ribbon is so pretty. Okay, it's one of my favorites. I'm sure I'll have all the pink used up long before the green. So I might, if you see me come on in a week or two doing all, a lot of green, you'll know I'm trying to use up my green paper. Doesn't that turn out sweet? I think it's just such a sweet birthday card. And this is easy. You can make this whether you're just watching a stamping video for the first time 
or you are an advanced stamper, anybody can make this. This is just punching and stamping and coloring. It's, it's not hard to do. All right, let's put some gems on this one too. Let's go back to our tinsel four pack, it's called. And let me grab my, I don't know where it is. I'm so organized when I start. And I'm gonna take some pink. And let's do, oops. Well, I don't know, there's a fiber on that. I'm moving on. I don't know what it is. And I think I'll just do a couple gems down here. Now I know these are pink, pink. So those of you that, you know, are real color perfectionists, this might not make you happy, but I think it's okay. You know, I could have used these, even though they're supposed to be lemon lime twist, they're kind of a yellow. You know, they would work okay too. Again, I'm not, I kind of like variation in color, so I'm good with it. But if you don't like it, you could do a couple of different things. You could, um, no, I think you'd have to stick with petal pink. I was going to give you another I, color combination here, but for this card, I think you have to stick with petal pink. So you could put clear rhinestones on if you're thinking those don't work. They don't work, Joey. You could put clear rhinestones. I guess for this one, I put the little gem on the cupcake. That's my sample. Okay, so what do you think of this one? Oh, you need this ribbon. Thank you, Kay. Thanks, Julie. You do need, you need this ribbon, girls, I'm just saying. And the green one, I love the green one too, but you know, if I'm gonna pick between pink and green, it's gonna be pink. So the, the green also has a little white stripe through it. I'm gonna try and get close to the camera. There, it looks like you can see it there. Okay, so it has a little white stripe, and then this pink stripe goes the opposite direction. So the green one goes lengthwise, and the pink one goes Ver perpendicular okay so there's that so this, these cards make me so happy <laughs> I just, i'm so happy with the way they turned out because you know they kind of have a little twist to them but they're not hard anybody can make them and i just think that's the best kind okay we're going on to our last card today still a circle saint um I'll bring back that stamp set just so I'm not stacking up my cards on each other. Let's go to another fun fold. I got this fun fold from Sue Campfield. I saw her if you follow Sue Stamp, not yeah, Sue Stampfield, not Campfield. If you follow her, you might have seen this, but I adapted it to Circle Saints. Maybe she is Circle Saints. Sorry, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, I can't really take complete credit for this. I switched it up a little, but not a lot. The, this base piece is Knight of Navy and it's four and a fourth by 11. And then I scored it at two places. So I scored at two and a quarter and I scored at five and a half. Alrighty, so this is the way we're going to make a fold. We're gonna fold this. Okay, so this is the way your card would open naturally or this way, but we're gonna have it open up and down and I'm folding this back this front front flap back then the other the, the next thing i'm going to do i'm not oops no i'm not going to do that i'm getting carried away so the next thing i'm going to do let's start with this i'm going to take that piece of pattern paper and then i'm going to uh, put it this is three and a half by three and a half nope yeah three and a half by three and a half this is just a little bit bigger so this is three and three fourths by three and three fourths. So I'm gonna put this down here. Hi Cheryl. No worries. Julie, you're fairly new. Have you done a card club of circle things? No, I haven't, Julie, but I'm always looking for suggestions. Is that something I don't have uh, I don't have August plan. July we're doing inked and tiled things for the card inked and tiled we we did those cards last week and i think they're upstairs because i was writing the tutorial hang on a second okay. yeah we did inked and tiled last week but for card club this month and you can still join there's 
time to join um, yet. I've actually only set out the first. I'll show you these again. I, I did a sneak peek of them last week, but this is the next club. And these are also mostly punching. Like this is all punching. This is all punching. This is all punching. Well, this is done on the, the um, die cutting machine and embossing folder. But these are pretty simple too. So Julie, hopefully you'll get along good with these. Because uh, I think you have subscribed to the club. And then this one does have a die cut circle on it. Um, but you know, if you bought the two and three eight circle punch, you could just make this design just a little bit squished together and that would still work with your circle punch. And this piece is die cut, but you could just cut this with your paper trimmer and then everything else is punched. So that's next month's uh, card class. You can sign up for that as an individual class or you can subscribe subscribing then if you stay in a, as uh, taking the class for six months in a row you get um, a 25 dollar gift certificate and you don't have to worry each month about signing up and worrying that you might have missed a sign up and then you missed a month i've had that happen to a couple people they're like well i thought i had six months in a row and then they don't realize they missed a month and then then they have to start over with their with their six consecutive months. I will put a link, I will do that right now. I'll put a link in the comments. And again, if you're watching on YouTube, this will be, um, this will be in the video description. But for YouTube, the, or my Facebook people that are watching right now, or are watching, um, on I'm trying to get my links here if you're watching on facebook then you just have to scroll through the comments if you're trying to find these so if you don't need shipping for be creative club here's the link if you do need shipping here's the link it's different so just make sure you subscribe to the right right one and you subscribe through PayPal. Whoops, I don't think that worked out. You subscribe through PayPal, but you don't have to have a PayPal account as such. They let you pay with your credit card if you want to. Um, okay, sorry, I'm trying to get this link copied and put in the comments. Here we go. I don't put all this in the video description on Facebook because they don't they see that and they've got they don't want you to do that so they don't let people see your video okay well this is going to be the front of our card i'm kind of i'm just kind of dry fitting this to see where when i do okay let me let me think this through we're gonna put a greeting down here actually you know what yeah we're gonna put a greeting down here no, we're going to wing this. I'm going to do this a little bit differently than my sample. What I'm going to do... Okay, I'm going out on a limb. This is Joey, who doesn't like to be spontaneous, who thinks things will go haywire if she's spontaneous. We're going to just... We're going to step this up, girls. Okay. So, Or if there's a guy watching, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put, let's see what happens with this. I think I'm gonna make a little. I'm gonna change this and make it an easel card, which is not my first one. So let's see what happens. I don't know. This might be a hot mess. I haven't done my tutorial yet, so I would just have to retake my picture <laughs> if this doesn't turn out. Then, on the inside of this card, so I'll show you my sample. On the inside of this card, I have Because You're Awesome, but I'm thinking if we make an easel card, we would, we could use the punches I already have out. I know I'm babbling here. I'm looking for my double oval punch that I know I have here because I told you I had it and I showed it to you. 
And now, where is the darn thing? Here's my circle punch. You know, how can a punch disappear? I mean, really, seriously? Um, I can't find it. Oh, for Pete's sakes, I can't find it. It is, oh, here it is, all right. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna be a little bit, let's see what's gonna happen here. We're going to make this an easel card because I'm going to go ahead and stamp the greeting. Let's see what happens with this. You might be going, that's a hot mess. I'm not making my card like that. All right. Um, and you can do your card any way you want to. I'll show you both of them in the end and we'll see what we like best. Okay. We want because you're awesome. Because the front says... Sending you a smile, and then we want this to say, because you're awesome. And that will be the easel part, because this is something somebody can set on their desk. Let me turn this over, and then I'm going to, whoops. Let me cut a little bit of this off. It's too high. And then... As I said, I wasn't really prepared to do this, but I think that fits okay. So we're gonna give it a little punch. It's a little bit tight. You might like my first card better once we get this done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab Knight of Navy. I think I have a scrap here. And I'm just gonna punch out the scallop oval. Then I'm gonna do this again. Now this time I'm not going to uplift the lift up you know dimensionals on the the white greeting because we're gonna put dimensionals on the blue background so here's where our dimensional is going to go now this is the part that's going to make it an easel because this is the part i guess i didn't get that cut this is the part that's going to stick up and then hold the front of your card up and i'll show you what we're doing in a minute i'm actually i'm going to set this aside and let's finish the front of our card first so i'm going to grab um, again this is the two and one quarter inch and this is the two and three eighths and that's how they look together so we're going to grab let's get this stuff out of the way i'm going to grab um the night of navy ink again and i'm going to do sending you a and then we're going to have smile on here so sending you a smile at the top oops here let's get out the this is a good reason to make sure you have, now you could use a magazine, you don't act, or something that has a little give to it. You don't have to use uh, the stamp and Pierce mat, but it's a nice tool to have and it isn't very expensive. So, gosh, Joey. All right, kids, we're gonna have to redo this. Here's another thing I'm gonna show you. Here's a hint for your photopolymer stamps. Can you see this is still not like a solid image, which is annoying me. So what you can do for that is a couple things. That's because be, when they make the um, mold for the stamps, they spray the mold with, with a, um, I'm getting ink all over me, with a compound that lets the, rubber get out of the mold easily you know when they dump then they dump the stamps out and then it comes out so i'm cleaning this really really hard i'm pushing really hard and that's not actually to get the ink off is to kind of get that film off and then if it doesn't you can't see it so you don't really know if it's there or not but then another thing you can do is take just a pencil eraser and just go over it with a pencil eraser okay I'm gonna actually try and be pretty thorough with this because I don't like the way it was stamping. So I'm gonna try and speed it up because you're watching me and you did not come on live, line live to watch me clean, get a stamp ready to stamp. Now with your rubber stamps, just use like a light emery board or you can use a pencil on them too, but usually a light emery board works well. Okay, I know I'm going over this a lot, but I just didn't like the way it was stamping. So then I'm gonna 
get all that again. Now let's try this again. We'll go back to our Night of Navy ink. We need a new circle. So we'll go back to our two and one fourth punch. Gonna punch a new circle. Let's punch two in case we muck it up. I say we, I'm giving you responsibility for also mucking it up. <laughs> Unless I muck it up. Okay, let's try that, that's better. All right, now let's see if we can get a better image here. Let's get back out the Night of Navy. Hi, Debbie. Oh, hi, Kelly. Yay. Glad you took and make it. We're on our third card, but I'll show you all three at the end. Okay, so I'm inking this up again. Trying to make sure it's really inked well. And now I'm gonna come up here to the top there, can you see how much better that is? And if you do that with your photopolymer stamps, you will get a very, very clean image. Can you see the difference here? So this is the one where I didn't prepare it carefully enough. I'm getting, gonna get back here. Now I'm gonna go up further, see if you can see. And this is the one where I prepared the stamp better. This one's kind of hazy. This one's a real solid image. Now I've gotten blue on it because I have ink on my fingers, but we're just gonna go with that. We've spent enough time on this. And then sometimes, there's a lot of blue on this. I'm gonna make sure I get it off. And a lot of times I'll use this for my fingers. Of course, it's not going to come off. But did you know, actually, I just learned this this weekend, I think, at the thing in Utah. Now, let's see if it works. You're watching today and you're thinking, I really wanted to watch Making Cards and you're doing all this other stuff. They said that hand sanitizer, oh, it's not this hand sanitizer. It's hand sanitizer, it's Clorox wipes. We'll get this off your hands. So this isn't going to work. Well, it's working a little bit. But I have Clorox wipes. I'm not going to run over and get them. But just so you know, that's what I heard this weekend. And I haven't tried it yet, but maybe some of you know if that works. Okay, we're going to go with this and get going on this card. Then we're going to go ahead and stamp. This greeting is going to be Smile. Sending you a smile. I have to locate my stamp here because now I have a hot mess going on pretty much everywhere. Sending you a smile. Okay, where is this? Actually, that smudge might be covered up when we stamp the flowers on it, so it might be okay. I know that dang ink, Libby. And then it, then it uh, grows a life of its own. Once you get it on your fingers, it lands in places you didn't know ink could really go. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go back to our flowers and I am gonna get my mat back out here, my piercing mat. And then we're going to, um, Kathy likes to have inky fingers because it proves she's been doing something. There you go. Exactly. That's the positive spin on it. Okay, I'm kind of looking through my, look through your block. And when you have clear stamps, this is an advantage you have. And you can see whether it's actually really solid with your image or not as solid as you might want it to be. Okay, I'm going to get over the top of this. So I might get my head in the camera. And I'm trying to follow the circle there we go that looks pretty i stuck with monochromatic ink on this card i tell you i think my cleaning pad is so saturated with navy ink that nothing's going to come clean let me get rid of this <laughs> until i really have time to clean it which i'll do later but we're having fun stamping, so we don't really care. All right, let's go ahead and put this on our petal pink circle. And this I'm going to just stick right to my um, right to my petal pink circle. I'm not lifting this up with the dimensional. OK, 
Okay, like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my, here's some dimensionals. So you can see actually the blue flowers covered up my smudge right there. So sometimes you don't have to actually start over. You can cover up with either a stamped image or embellishments. I have often put embellishments, more embellishments than I intended. Um, <laughs> to cover things up. All right, let's go to this, uh, back to our ribbon. And we're gonna go, I always have to think for a minute, how does my ribbon need to go? It takes me a minute to figure out how to put the ribbon. If you're right-handed, this is what works for me, is to have my spool to the left, and then I tie it right off of the bolt. And that helps save your ribbon a little bit. And then I have my um, loose end to the right. If you're left-handed, I can't help you because I have enough trouble getting this for myself, <laughs> figuring out what goes where. But you want your dominant hand to have the tail having the end of the ribbon. Does that make sense? Maybe that would be helpful if you're left-handed. So then we'll go like this like so and there's our main image i just think that these colors are so pretty together the navy and the petal pink all right now we're gonna try our experiment here let's see what happens this is probably gonna be a hot mess okay this is gonna go like this and this is good well it's pretty heavy with the flowers i don't think i like that hang on we're gonna we're just gonna do this i think this is too heavy too heavy looking for a card that has a light pink ribbon on it. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think that's okay? Or do you think that's too much? Here it is without, here, I think it's too much. Bling, yes, Diane Bling is the best. Okay, we're gonna, it's gonna take a minute for your replies to come up, so I'm just gonna go with no flowers at the bottom. Whoops, that is out of adhesive. If you watched last week, we had many a issue go wrong. It was quite the adventure on Facebook Live. Um, our, the guy came to repair the washer in the middle of it. The lawn guy came in the middle of it. So that was going on. The Roomba went off when it's not supposed to go off. Hopefully it doesn't do that today. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Now, I don't want my, okay, does this make sense? This is how this looks from the side. And I don't want my ribbon, my adhesive, I want my adhesive only on this flap. So what I'm gonna do is turn this over and I can see where the flap, you're not gonna be able to see it, but I can see where the flap ends there. And then I'm centering up my panel, my main panel, you know, even on this side and this side. And then I'll know where to put my adhesive because I can see the flap. So I'm going to stay between that edge of the cardstock and then the fold. So I'm, that's where I'm staying between. If you turn over your main piece like that, you can see carefully, you can see so you don't get adhesive where you really don't want it. Okay, so I'm going to, again, I'm kind of centering this from top to bottom and from side to side. See, and so now since I was careful with my adhesive, that's what it looks like from this side. And that's the way it opens. Now to make our easel, we already made this part. So if we come in here with this and we put this right. Well, wait a minute, I don't want this to show. So this has to be up further. Now when you're not sure, don't just don't push it down. We need this to be up here because I don't want it to show at the bottom, it looks messy. Okay, so then it'll go like that. So that's a pretty steep easel. So I don't know if you want to do that. You know, you have an option here, but people could sit, so people can sit this on their desk. It's hard for me to show you. Here, let me show you this way. What the what? heck, Joey, you're turning upside down. So this will hold up like this, okay? Or, Actually, what I found on this one 
was it still sits up. I mean, it doesn't sit up, sit up. So if you really want it to stay up like this, you'll have to, you will have to do it like this. Can you see from this side? Okay, so that's what makes it the easel. Sending you a smile because you're awesome. This one says sending you a smile today. And it also says because you're awesome. So there's two options for you. Um, yeah, too much, Debbie? I thought so too. It, it. You know, if I'd have done the flowers in a lighter color, it might have looked okay, but it was, I thought it made a light card too heavy. Then we're going to go to our bling. We can't, we have to have the bling. Let's go grab uh, our gems again. Oh, thank you for the hearts, you guys. That's so sweet. Alrighty, so it always makes me feel good. Now, these are those yellow ones. Um... And there's kind of a light green here. So I, you know, I think it kind of works. But let's see, I might try. The, I tried the darker green ones yesterday and it, they didn't show up. We could try pink again. Even though this one has yellow, we'll do pink. That looks nice too. Again, you know, the gems kind of take on the color of what's around them. Now, my intention is to send these gems with um, your orders of $50 or more, your class kit, if they're available or, but if they, you will get an embellishment. It, may, it might not be this exact one. Sometimes things go unavailable and I don't have control over it um, or whatever, but you will get a pack of embellishments to use on your cards. So if you put in an order of $35 or more, you get all the supplies for all these cards. Now you have to do that by by Sunday night. So Sunday night's the deadline to use this host code or use the link that's in the video description on YouTube. If you're on my email list, it's gonna be in my email too so that you know where to find it. All right, my friends, what do you think? Oh, thanks, Debbie, I'm glad you like it. Um, Julie, you like to send out car mostly cards to women that so love flower cards and the pink ribbon is perfect. You know, I, I'm a girly girl too, Julie. I like, I like pink. And there are girly girls who don't like pink, but I am a pink girl, period. Hands down, favorite color. Um, oh, thanks, Kathy. And Carol, thank you. I'm so glad you like my cards. That makes me happy. I do spend a lot of time. You know, I hope I never make a card for you that I actually don't think is very pretty because then that's probably time for me to hang up my shingle. <laughs> okay, my friends, I'm going to bring you back up here and I'm going to click this tool so I go right side up. I'm so happy you joined me today. Thank you so much. Um, I've been getting so many nice comments, both on my Facebook page and my YouTube. Um, people are saying such nice things about enjoying my videos and enjoying my cards. And some of you have been saying those very, very nice things. I do work hard. This is my full-time job. I spend a lot of time uh, trying to bring you things that are helpful and will give you inspiration for your crafting for whatever products you have on hand that you can just have fun with it. And I hope to try to give easy ideas that are kind of a little special, but they're easy that anybody can do them. All right, dear friends, thanks again so much. And I hope to see you next Wednesday at 1230 for another week of fun. Hey, you can follow me on my blog, createwithjoey.com. I have been posting pretty frequently on my blog. It's not sophisticated, so but you can find things. You know, I have got some tutorials on there. Um, and I post what I'm currently working on, what my current class is, what my club, what my club class is. So you can find me there if you need me. Oh, you can always message me if you want information about anything I can help you with. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a great week. Thanks. Bye-bye.